Namaste everyone. <clears throat> Thank you for joining in this video. So in the last video, when I spoke about the role of Mars and how it behaves in different houses, I got a few requests to make another video on, you know, how Mars manifests its energies. Okay. And uh, as always, before we get to the video, kindly subscribe to the channel, share it if you find it useful. And leave your comments behind in the feedback section they really mean a lot to me okay now as we know mars is you know is all about energy okay mars is the character for energy in our chart it is that spark that starts the battery okay and uh, since mars is all about energy we have to know you know how a person will spend his energy how a person will conserve his or her energy and you know in uh, what ways energy manifests in a person okay and uh, the energy of mars is very hard to contain and this energy must be released before it starts to burn a person from the inside and the release usually happens with the help of actions with the help of physical exertion okay so mars is all about courageously accepting challenges and fighting and winning for whatever we believe is right okay and this is a planet that encourages a person to rise, to move, to do anything, but not wait. Okay, because Mars has no concept of patience. It is the exact opposite of Saturn. Right. So, as I said, Mars is about giving us the drive and the energy to compete. Okay. So, if Mars is located in Aries. Okay. So, this energy will come to you precisely in the process of what you do in your daily life. Okay. So, if you have mars in aries it is very good to play sports and lead an active lifestyle because the more you spend energy the more will come okay and uh on the contrary if you you know if you mess around and do not have time to spend energy then <laughs> the energy will still come okay mars will still provide you with energy but since it needs a logical outlet this will happen in the form of anger or aggression or violence, and that could be against yourself or others, okay? So you have to always put yourself first and provide an outlet for this energy if you have Mars in Aries, okay? Now, if you have Mars in Taurus, then, uh, you know, you need a good earthly material goal, you know, for example, making this amount of money in this period of time, okay? And uh, once you have, once you start having materialistic goals, energy will come. Okay, and it'll come as much as needed. Okay, for example, if you have a super goal, then you'll have super energy. Okay, and you need to use it. Do not, you know, dismiss that energy that comes. You know, for example, say if you want a new car or a trip or a house, then set yourself this goal and deadline, and everything you do, do it with this goal in mind. Okay, so then the whole space will line up in such a way so as to lead you to this car or to this trip or to this house. Okay. Now, if you don't pay attention to this, there is a high risk of apathy, depression, and, uh, you know, there will be no changes in life. Okay. So you can either have a goal or you can simply, you know, be in oblivion from longing and disbelief in yourself. Okay. Then comes Mars in Gemini. So these people need clear planning for each year, month, day, and even hour of life. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> The way to do this is to start with all kinds of gliders, diaries, you know, keeping a track of whatever you are doing, writing whatever is planned and crossing out whatever has been executed. Okay, so I've, you know, some clients, uh, they have done very well after installing scheduling apps that are out there on Play Store, on Apple Store, you know, so that you can experiment to find out the way that one, you know, the, the you can find out which one works for you. Okay, so if you don't do this, if you don't plan, right, if you don't do precise planning, then energy will come. Okay, as I said, energy always and Mars always provides you with energy. Okay, but if you don't use it, then it will be wasted. Okay, so Mars in Gemini makes someone who is superb at multitasking and productive at the same time. Okay, so you must use this ability because otherwise the, this strong energy can harm you very badly. Okay, Mars in Cancer, right? So if you have Mars in Cancer, then your business is to accumulate and collect information and focus on this, okay? And uh, later on, you'll figure out how you'll use it, okay? So put all your focus on collecting information, okay? So these people usually have a lot to know about everything, you know? 
they are all about accumulating knowledge and information and you should also master any practice that will help you maintain a calm state of mind you know be calm and if, very importantly, because Mars is debilitated here in Cancer, you know, you have to treat everything in life with acceptance. Okay. This is your strength and this is where your energy lies. Okay. Now, if you ignore all this, if you fight against everything that is happening, then you will get mental disorders. Okay. From mild to very serious, like insomnia, eating disorders and other unpleasant things. So, you know, if you are suffering from mental disorders, then, you know, the best remedy is to treat everything in life with acceptance. Okay. Then Mars and Leo. So this is one of the most energy generating signs for Mars. And it will come if you pay attention and time to friendship. Okay. If you have self-esteem, but do not, you know, that self-esteem should not turn into pride. If you develop creative abilities, you know, kindness and broad soul, generosity towards others. Okay. So, you know, generosity towards others does not mean you are forced to give things, okay? You know, you should be giving out of joy, out of abundance, all right? And uh, with Mars and Leo, you can and you should strive to be a public person in plain sight to attract attention, giving your energy to people so that you receive many times more in return, okay? So if you sit in a, if you have Mars and Leo and then you sit in a corner and be modest, this is not your option, Okay. But then all of this should come from socially important and useful motives. Okay. Just not for the sake of popularity, but to provide benefit to the world, to the people at large, so that it's a win win situation for everyone. Okay. Now, if Mars is in Virgo, then in order to receive energy and circulate it, you must be careful, you know, even pedantic. <laughs> you should take care of you. You should take care of your health. You should take care of the health of your loved ones. Okay. In any form, you know, you can take care of your relatives and you can also work as a doctor and you can also take care of your environment. Okay, so this is about, you know, about going global, right? And uh, also because this Mars is in Virgo, this means you should pay serious attention to counting money. Okay, so, you know, it's much better if you land up in work that allows you to work as an accountant or just with money. It's really, really good. Okay. If not, you know, if you're not working as an accountant or if you don't have, you know, if, if you don't have any work to do with money, then you must master the science of family budget planning. And uh, as a result, you will immediately feel good regarding the flow of energy that begins to circulate and brings joy to you. Okay. Now, if you don't do it, then life will force you anyway. Okay. But that will not be in the form in which you will be pleased. Okay. So you have to choose. Again, Mars and Libra. So you'll get energy in the process of communicating with people, okay? And it is very important to be honest and genuine in your communications, okay? There should not be any kind of gossip, no cheating, no discussion, no backbiting, you know, no hypocrisy. So you must pay a lot of attention throughout your life to partnership in any manifestations, you know, whether it is in your personal life, in your work, or in any communication, you know, in any form of communication on any topic, okay? Now you'll do good. If you if you have Mars in Libra and you are a doctor or a lawyer, okay. If not, then you must build work on the principle of openness and honesty with partners and subordinates. Okay. Now Libra is a social sign. So try not to be alone, even if no one is around. Okay. So you can always communicate online or in instant messengers. And if you have a partner, then the best thing to do is to develop loyalty with them. Okay. I'm not only speaking about a, you know about a partner of the opposite gender. It could be a business partner. Okay. So you know, remain faithful to all your partnerships and this will give you much more good quality energy. All right. And uh, Libra is all about appearance. So you definitely need to take care of yourself and have a good appearance because your energy also lies in there. All right. Now, Mars and Scorpio, you know, what are the important words that characterize a Scorpio? It is transformation, pain, risk-taking, change, psychology, you know, the subconscious. So, the energy for people having Mars and Scorpio lies in all these areas, as I mentioned. Okay. And uh, you can expand on this energy by dancing, stretching, coaching, you know, dealing in esoteric subjects, you know, dealing with big businesses, fashion, sales. So, you know, even if uh, those areas where, which are painful and scary, even those can be sources of energy from you, for, for you. Okay. I had a, you know, I had a client who, derived energy by standing on rails as the train was approaching 
it is not something that i recommend but she was fond of doing it and she actually got energy from this practice okay now mars in scorpio is very very strong okay so it means that if you do everything correctly then a lot of energy will come but then if you don't do things correctly despite having the energy then the rollback can also be severe okay so you know you have to choose what changes you and others and you have to act on that okay mars and sagittarius so such a person can contain and pass through a very large amount of energy but in order to be, in order for this to be successful and painless for you you need to process this energy to be active to be famous you know to pump up your personal brand you need to make a plan for life try to get new impressions and be sure to be active okay that means do not sit and wait for things to happen by themselves okay now if you merge with what life offers you can get serious problems like being overweight and you know being with your inner self okay this happened to me actually i have my mars in uh, cancer in the rashi chart and then mars goes into sagittarius so as i accepted more as i thought of you know being laid back i actually started developing overweight you know i uh, overweight problems so it's all about being in balance okay so mars in capricorn right so this is the exaltation position for mars and these people do very well when they build long term big plans you know when they try to realize all their ambitions and when they are not afraid to want something okay so these people have a motto should have a motto of dreaming big all right so keep on expanding your bucket list and then start ticking off things from your bucket list okay always go forward even if there are obstacles in the way and this process will give you so much energy that you cannot even imagine okay imagine a ram representing the capricorn you've seen how stubbornly such a ram climbs a mountain no matter how steep and high it is isn't it so this is exactly what you should do okay even if you are even if you are in the face of a crisis believe in yourself that you will overcome it 100% okay even if you encounter some new obstacle you have to continue moving forward and only forward okay so only with such a life strategy will your energy resource will always be use will always be full if you have mars and capricorn all right and uh, the th most important thing to avoid is that you should not whine and complain how unfair life is okay because then you will not be able to release your energy okay if you complain if you keep on complaining if you keep on whining there is a risk of falling into a serious depression okay so you know grit your teeth and go ahead and strength will come in the process okay the mars and cap aquarius so these people can receive energy in the process of life itself okay so aquarius is a lover of communication and information technology computers so you need to look into this area okay you need to try to communicate and build communication and work on the basis of the family maybe okay and be very open to communication with everyone you know from the manager to your boss to the cleaning lady to the lady who sweeps the floor so this communication is a source of energy for you okay and you always should have a habit of looking wider than you are used to you know that means you should expand your horizons you should understand that the cosmos is not somewhere out there it is actually affecting you directly and uh, the funny thing about mars in aquarius is that if you request for an information it usually comes to you okay so you know the influence of planets stars astrological phenomena don't brush it off this knowledge is your energy okay and uh, it is also very important to be honest and fair because otherwise this energy will fly very hard okay so you must do your things obeying the laws of the universe okay now mars in pisces for those have having mars in pisces they have energy in working on themselves but then you have to be very careful as you watch your subconscious your self esteem you must pay attention to what you eat you know how your intestines and other organs work and it is very necessary to be interested in the topic of health and nutrition okay so you can directly get confused as it should be on this okay so the more you take a deep dive into various topics the more energy you will get from that source okay so one way to release this energy of mars and pisces is to study psychology you know all variants of creativity and uh, if you have studied something then the remedy is you should teach that to others as well okay you should also study the information about the energies and the universe so you know if if the energy if the information of the universe is directly shown to you you know you should you know you should uh let's say 
you should progress in that direction whatever is being coming whatever is coming to you you should not reject it you should accept it and once you have this acceptance okay it is similar to mars and cancer but you know it's more about exploration cancer is more about acceptance uh, mars and pisces is more about exploring a particular topic and then accepting what comes out what information comes out you know if it's just like digging the earth being fully accepting of whatever you know will come out of that digging okay and uh, you must realize that you know this uh, you know this working on yourself will not happen on its own okay you need to discipline yourself you need to train const consistently and regularity in uh, you should train regularly okay and only then the pieces of puzzles will come together okay now if you don't do this what happens you'll live life as if you are in a dream or in a swamp you know you'll feel sluggish weak and uninteresting all the times which is very very not recommended if you have mars and pisces okay so this was about mars and you know how people derive their energy from the placement of mars in various in various signs of the zodiac do let me know if it matches with you if it resonates with you your comments are very very valuable as i said in the very beginning okay so that's it from me in this video kindly share it with your friends and family if you find it useful and if you want a consultation regarding your chart kindly reach out to me at the number given in the description box okay thank you i'll see you soon in yet another video om guru venamaha